Nah, maybe this. This, this is the one. This is the one. Yes! Would we ever reach press peace? That's the question we'll be tackling today. Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! As you guys know, on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. So today, this is today's outfit and I'm trying to figure out which bag hmm, I should wear with my outfit today. Hmm, so my outfit has green. Huh, so maybe this would work. Yeah, maybe this would work. Mm, no. Maybe green and green would not work. How about this one then? Maybe this one? No? No? Would that work? How about this one? Yeah, this one looks nice. I mean, it's tiny, it could work with anything, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe this one would work. Maybe this one. Black goes with anything and I'm feeling the vibe. Yeah. Oh no, maybe a s smaller one, this, this one? Probably. Mm, no, I think maybe we need something with a bit more, some hardware hardware but this yes this is perfect gold and i have gold rings you know yeah this is but i already have gold but then black yeah mm, no let's try let's try maybe silver yeah this is nice and slouchy and yeah, this could work. Yeah, man, this could work. See, fits good, right? Nah, maybe this, this, this is the one. This is the one. Yes. Ah. No. This blue with blue skirt. Yeah, gold. This is perfect. Guys. This is it. This. Would we ever reach press peace? That's the question we'll be tackling today. I love me a good purse, a good vintage purse, as you could see. And the better the quality, yeah, you got me at quality, you got me at vintage. But what I've noted in today's climate of overconsumption, of the weekly churning out of the newest bag, be it it bag or non it bag, it's a never ending cycle. It's like a rat on a ferris wheel. It's, it just keeps going and we are bombarded every single time I go on YouTube. Oh my God, this, I'm so excited about this. The new LV, yes. The perfect Chanel, even though I've had already the same one in a different color. Yes, this is perfect. Guys, it appears that some people 
One, because of the fact that they're being paid, they're getting it often cheaper, discounted, or for free. Number two, it's their job. And because of the fact that they just love to chase the newest, the best. They want to keep up and not only keeping up, but they want to be above the rest. They're, these are people who would never ever reach bag peace. And here we are as consumers looking at them and lapping up going out there buying all their recommendations and the interesting thing is that the excitement is short-lived the love for that bag is very short-lived because i've noticed that if you buy something whether new or vintage yeah whether it's new or vintage guys the excitement wears off it doesn't stay so that's why you have to know what you love you have to know your style you have to know what suits you before you get caught up in the constant buying and reselling of items because regardless of whether or not you think okay there's a market out there to resell you need to be mindful and intentional so that you don't have an oversaturation of stuff that is absolutely not required. And yes, one of the things that we have to be mindful of is to create that wish list. And many of the content creators are out there telling you, oh, my wish list of 2023 and I have to get all of these because yeah I really want that it's a different fabric and it would really really solve me well then do you note that when they get it about a month or so later they're either not wearing it their list of most worn items it's often not their luxury bags it's quite possibly one of those nylon bags such as Longchamp, which for me is not my cup of tea, or something that is maybe a, a sturdier bag in their mindset, maybe a Dooney and Burke, which I absolutely love, by the way. Those are bags to actually, in my personal opinion, that I would invest in over and over again on the second hand market. But these are the things that we have to be mindful of. Why are you creating a wish list? You're just setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up for over consuming because your favorite YouTuber created a wish list. That is her style. Is it yours? Seriously, stop with the wish list. It's not worth it. The next thing that you could do is to disconnect. I disconnect a lot of the times. And guys, if you are always engaged, you're often gonna be persuaded. Disconnect. Another thing that you would note that I don't do, I, I don't do it often, only when I do not have sufficient lighting and the sun goes down you would rarely see my display items. Well, over here, that's unfortunate because this is the direction I mostly shoot. But you would rarely see my items. And my items are, as you know, vintage. Most, most are second hand. And you would rarely see them because they're on that side. That's one of the tips I would often say to content creators is that while I know you want to promote this idea of aspiration, while you want your subscribers to aspire to your level, I also think that as content creators, we should be mindful of what we display, when we display, how, 
under what economic climate because it sends the wrong signal and it also sends the wrong message that these things are attainable when for most people it's not. So that is why you would not see me often display my stuff. It doesn't solve much purpose. Yes, it may look like a pretty background, but at the same time, it does, for, in my opinion, which is humble, sends the wrong message. Another thing that you should do, buy stuff at pivotal moments, at milestone moments in your life. I used to, I still do, buy important or high-end items on my birthdays. Every year I try to get something that I have been wanting or that I like. And for my age, I should have over 50 or so bags in my collection. I don't. That's because I am still mindful. And sometimes I use the justification that I spend so much money on other people elsewhere Therefore, I should treat myself, but it's also the wrong mindset because it would get you in trouble, which it has. Yes, it amounts to debts. You need to learn from people like me and Caitlin Palowski, as I've mentioned before. Honestly, buy stuff at milestone moments, your graduation, your birthday, and if you do, at least that's like once per year, especially when it comes to your birthday. I've seen like content creators, young ones on YouTube, they have over a hundred bags. Wow, that's a lot of birthdays. Wow, really? Wow, those are a lot of special moments. And another thing that we have to be mindful of is that the number of items we have, the different bags for the different occasions, they are not absolutely necessary. Honestly, I used to have three or four bags in my collection and I was as good with them as I am with the ones that you have just seen. It's like you don't need, you don't need it. And like me, you got influenced. I am now aware of how influential that these people could be, these content creators could be, when they are out there going on trips to promote these items because it looks exciting. It looks fun. It looks like, oh my God, I hope I could attain that level of success guys it's tiring as they have shown you it's a lot of work and many of them are not very very happy yeah i said it if they're honest with you they will tell you that all these things do not bring them joy or happiness some items that they have bring them joy but then you would know that by next year, those things no longer bring them joy because, oh, my taste has changed. I have evolved. That does happen. That's why you need to be mindful of what you consume when you are at a certain stage in your life, in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s. Yes. Do not overconsume, or you would regret it. Remember Caitlin Palowski? She is the perfect example, and she is the first to tell you that she wasted a lot of money. It's a lesson that we really need to pay attention to. And guys, another thing I'll also encourage you to do. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going